Blue appears to be talented, but he ultimately scores the winning goal for the opposing club. And massive celebration is shown in Rio de Janeiro at the beginning of the movie. We reconnect with Blue, Jesse Eisenberg, and Jewel, and Hathaway, two Blue Macas who are now married and have three children, in the city's bird community. Together with their friends Rafael, George Lopez, Pedro, Will I Am, and Nico, Jamie Foxx, they dance and sing. Where are the kids? asks Blue of Rafael. Rafael claims to have left them with Louise the Bulldog, Tracy Morgan. Louise claims to have left them with Tiny. A small bird, Kate Micucci. The youngsters hook Tiny up to a number of fireworks, including Carla, Rachel Crow, Bia, Amanda Stenberg, and Tiago, Pierce Gagnon. When Blue reaches for the match, their parents swoop in to stop them from lighting them. But in doing so, he burns himself and sets off the pyrotechnics. He frees Tiny, but he manages to find himself in trouble. As the fireworks explode in a spectacular show for all of Rio and the birds to behold, he is propelled into the air. The owner of Blue, Linda, Leslie Mann, and her husband Tulio, Rodrigo Santoro, a fellow bird lover, are sailing a boat through the forest to retrieve a fat red bird and its family. They fall over the cliff because they fail to notice the water falls up ahead, yet they are both unharmed. During its flight, a bird drops a feather. Tulio takes it and examines it. It is a blue macaw feather. There is word that Linda and Tulio found additional blue macaws. To locate this flock, they choose to journey to the Amazonian jungle. Jewel also wants to go there because she believes Blue has tamed their children too much and that they need to reconnect with their natural bird nature. To find unusual talent for their small carnival show, Nico and Pedro want to join. Eva Babel Gilberto, the wife of Rafael, is the only person they now have, and she is a terrible singer. Meanwhile, a cunning timber tycoon by the name of Big Boss, Miguel Ferrer, learns about Linda and Tulio's objective and becomes concerned that they may thwart his intentions. Blue uses human equipment, such as a GPS, to direct himself and his family and friends to the Amazon. Up until they take off in a group, they keep getting separated. On the ground, Charlie the Anteater, the poisonous tree frog Gabby, Kristen Chenoweth, and the villainous cockatoo Nigel. Jemaine Clement are now flightless performers in a market. Nigel is made to serve as a fortune teller bird as Gabby falls hopelessly in love with him. Nigel is motivated to do revenge on the bird who cost him his flight once he sees Blue and his family flying up ahead. He makes a mess at the market and sets Gabby and Charlie free. He and Gabby chase the birds while riding on Charlie's back. In order to catch Blue, Nigel, Gabby, and Charlie sneak onto a boat. In an effort to explain her affections for Nigel and the fact that she is poisonous and so cannot touch him, Gabby sings the song, Poisonous Love, while Nigel drifts off to sleep. They notice Blue and his family on the boat as soon as he awakens. When Charlie is trying to eat some ants and gets locked in a bottle, Nigel is about to make his lethal move. He succeeds and triggers an alarm, creating a commotion on the boat that thwarts Nigel's scheme. Additionally, Big Boss travels to the Amazon jungle to meet with his colleagues. Because Linda and Tulio are looking for Macaws in an area that he intends to clear-cut, he instructs them to get rid of them. Blue and his family and pals are led to the Blue Macaws entire flock after being picked up by another bird when they first enter the jungle. Eduardo, Jules' father, Andy Garcia, is in charge of them. After being split apart by loggers, they share an emotional reunion. Eduardo became wary of people as a result of this. He welcomes Blue and his children. In addition, Jules' aunt Mimi and former childhood friend Roberto, Bruno Mars, attend the celebration. Roberto sings a smooth ballad to welcome Jewel back to her house, Rita Moreno. Blue and his family are permitted to dwell with Roberto in the renovated tree. Blue notices that Jewel is content despite his discomfort in this unfamiliar environment. 
In order to test Blue's metal in the bush, Eduardo decides to take him on a tour of the area while pretending to Jewel that they are just sightseeing. He sustains multiple injuries and seems insignificant in compared to Roberto, who consistently earns Eduardo's praise. Additionally, they run into Felipe's rival tribe of Scarlet Macas, Philip Lawrence. They make fun of Eduardo and are hostile toward him for attempting to assist Blue. Blue's attempt to use Linda's equipment in the outdoors is the only thing that ruffles Eduardo's sorry him feathers. Eduardo commands Roberto to watch Blue out for any signs that he might be working with the loggers. Meanwhile, Nico, Pedro, and Rafael carry on their search for talent. Carla, who has a talent for acting and a passion for music, joins them. The majority of those that walk up to try out for the program have amazing skill, but they keep literally devouring each other to death. However, they unexpectedly receive a visit from Nigel, dressed as someone else, who sings, I Will Survive, with Gabby in an extremely hilarious duet. The loggers' monkeys looked for Linda and Tulio, while Big Boss and his men found them at the same moment. The bad guys tie Linda and Tulio to a tree and then proceed to cut down other trees. Blue goes to grab Jewel a Brazilian nut because she loves them. Blue is duped into flying to the region of the Scarlet Macas by the loggers' monkeys. Unaware that they are the owners of the Brazilian nut, he attempts to seize it. He gets the blue macaws to challenge the scarlet macaws to a game of soccer that is played between the two species of macaws. When he notices that the majority of his players are being eliminated, Eduardo reluctantly allows Blue to join the game after first refusing to. Blue appears to be talented, but he ultimately scores the winning goal for the opposing club. Blue feels unwelcome and undesired at this environment as a result of Eduardo berating him for failing, among other things. He disputes Jewel, who advises him to pick the place he wants to stay. Blue takes off from the tribe while feeling conflicted, giving Jewel the impression that he is leaving them. Instead, knowing that he belongs with Jewel in the environment where she is content, he stops by Linda's campsite to bid her farewell. Blue then gets the impression that something is off. He discovers Tulio and Linda bound together. After releasing them, he finds the loggers spreading damage in the jungle. A lot of trees are felled and carted away. When Blue is discovered by Roberto in this location, the bird begins to describe a traumatic interaction with people. In order for them to alert everyone about the loggers together, Blue makes him fly back to the tribe. Blue persuades Eduardo to work with them to save their house. The loggers begin to advance into the thicker section of the bush. Bulldozers are being stopped by Linda and Tulio, but the sight of the complete flock of blue macaws sitting in the trees, appearing very miserable, causes the bad guys to back off. In order to assist other creatures in preserving the forest, the scarlet macaws declare a truce. Everyone rushes into assault and scare away the loggers, but Big Boss doesn't show any worry for the animals. He enters the jungle in a car, but Linda, in a bulldozer she commandeers, stops him. Tulio saves Eduardo who is stuck in the middle of them. Big Boss begins to detonate several explosives fastened to the trees. Blue recognizes them and captures them, with Nigel trailing. Nigel hangs on as Blue flies up with them while holding the bomb. After throwing the dynamite into the air, Nigel hops upon Blue and confronts his adversary. The dynamite explodes with a loud bang, sending the birds flying into the treetops. They struggle while restrained. Allowing Gabby the chance to shot Blue with a toothpick dipped in her poison. She strikes Nigel inadvertently, and he fears that he may pass away. In an incredibly theatrical death, he has Gabby consume a small amount of her poison in order to be with Nigel. Bea clarifies that this is a myth and that Gabby is not harmful. To Nigel's dismay, Gabby snatches him up in her pleasure at this realization so they can be together. Big Boss is being ingested whole by a snake in the meantime. Blue is welcomed by Eduardo as a member of the tribe after the jungle is spared. To be examined, Nigel and Gabby are sent to Rio. Charlie runs them off. Blue and Jewel and his family decide to remain in the Amazon, but they consent to travel to Rio during the summer. 
The animals perform Nico and Pedro's carnival show as the movie comes to a close, and Carla joins in the fun.